Hello everyone, welcome back to, uh, what the fuck are we playing, guys? We're basically tying up the loose ends on Lost Mine of Fandelva. Thank you. I think it's called Dungeons and Drogons. Yeah, Dungeons and, um, Daemons. Dungeons and Daemons. Big lizards. Yeah. Uh, it's episode nine. Just, just for anyone that was wondering, it's episode nine. Yeah. It's been over a month since we last played. And in that time, nothing has happened. <clears throat> I dropped a massive deuce. You guys were exploring the ruins of Thunder Tree to, to tie up the last bits of loose ends and get as much XP as you can possibly get before being thrust into the tyranny of dragons. You had just killed some giant spiders. And you were heading north, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright. And away we go. So we get information with Salzar in front, considering he now has over health. Why does uh, blah, blah blah have over health? It was a bonus, wasn't it? It was given from Grimmels? I have no idea. Sure. Uh, that's yeah, that's my aid spell. Ah. Age 12. Lasted a month, wow. Yeah, that's, Vintage that's spell. a spell. <laughs> Grimoire's dies easy, good spells. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to uh, arrange yourself in a marching order as you go up the... Uh... Sorry. Get help with us, Toby. I'm coming. Adrian. No, go this no way. up this way. Which way? Wanna go through there? Yes. Yeah. Round the path and up to the tower. Alright. So at the top of the hill uh stands a round tower. Uh, with a cottage attached. Both are in good condition, although half of the tower's roof is gone. A door leads into the cottage, and several arrow slit windows are visible in the tower. You can't help but notice an eerie quiet in the area, and a strange, acrid smell in the air. The corpses of two giant spiders are sprawled near the edge of the pathway. They look dragged. Their bloated bodies are puckered and blistered and appear to have been mauled by a large animal. Uh, uh, I would like to use Wild Shape to turn into a wolf. Okay. And <laughs> Again. Uh, it's just because I get an advantage against yeah. certain uh, s smells, basically. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'd like to go up to the cottage with Snarl and do a perception check. Can I make an investigation? And see what, what uh, see, yeah, see what's in there. Right. Do an is Droop riding check? Snarl again? Uh, no, Droop is not riding Snarl. It's okay if I make an investigation check to see what's going on. You want to right? investigate the spiders? Yeah. Yes. 13. Uh, yeah, the, the spiders like look as if they've almost uh, melted in certain areas. Yeah, that's not good. Would I know why? I don't know, would you know why? Can what I, would uh, I roll? Uh, an Look. investigation check. Could try nature, if it's a natural thing, but we don't uh, know that. Brooke, you smell something that you don't recognise. I try and convey that by just... Drawing a question mark on the ground. Shaking yeah. my head. Alright, so... You're shaking your head. He's yeah. having a seizure, guys. We need to put him down. <laughs> Grimos, you think that the spiders have started melting because they've been hit with acid. I will tell everyone, guys, they've had some pretty strong acid. The <laughs> gateway so, drug. For God's sake. Uh, should we find out who their dealer is? <laughs> Okay. I have a feeling they might be inside. 
<laughs> Go on, man, saddles out after you. Quick, it won't give me a loose change. <laughs> Some tabs. Right. So, are these the doors? That is the door, yes. Do y'all want to... Prepare thyselves, yeah. One, lube up. We're going in. Okay. Everyone ready? Ready. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to kick down the door. Shoot people right. in the face. You bust in uh, the door and you hear a low, throaty rumble. As you look to your right and see in the tower a large green dragon. Shit. Can I close the door? You kicked it down. Can I pick it back up? <laughs> I mean, yes. Think I could, like, balance it in the doorway? Potentially. What would I have to roll? Uh, You'd have to roll me initiative is what you'd have to roll me. <laughs> he got you there. Oh, man. As everyone else can as well. Yush. So does acid damage count as magic? Uh, acid damage counts as acid. So it's non-magic? It's not nah. magic, but it is not bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing. Bollock. Maybe we can fight Dragon Breath with Dragon Breath. I think it's in fighting range. Best idea. <laughs> Everyone votes for kicking it and running like little children. Has everyone rolled Nish? I've rolled. Uh, I feel like... Yeah, that's, that's all of you. You need to do a bigger pie. Alright, starting with Salazar. Are you sure I can't put the door in? Just I mean, you, you think it would be difficult to put the door back in the doorway with you on the outside. Real number on the bad boy, didn't I? Yeah. There's another door, Toby. I'm going to say, this door, is it, it's, it's open, I assume, we can see the dragon. It, it, it is um, mostly melted. Can I put the door in that door? <laughs> yeah? I mean, you could give it a go. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, make me a strength check. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, like, on further inspection of the doorway, you realise that the door wasn't actually on its hinges, which is why it was so easy to kick down. But it's quite a hefty door. My heart. <laughs> you cannot pick it up. You're hurting me. <laughs> That's okay. the idea. Then... I'll just stay in the doorway then. Yes. Do you, do you not want to charge heroically into the dragon? Do I want to charge heroically into the acid? You know what? I think I'll pass. What sort of dragon does it look to be? It well, green. Do, could be red to me, could be brown, who knows. But like an adult dragon or a juvenile? <laughs> You wouldn't know the difference. You've never seen a dragon before. Well, he's, has he ever looked in a mirror? That's a dragon ball, that's different. You say I've never seen a dragon before. I'm pretty sure I died and saw Bama, uh, Bama Hut. Yeah, so God. Bama. and he is beyond gargantuan. There is, there is no frame of reference that you can use Bahamut, Lord of all dragons, to this. But he is a dragon. I think you could call him a big boy. Alright, so Salazar, you're ending your turn. Um, got nothing else worth doing. And All if right, I, I just. The best defensive position, I think. Alright, Jack. So, I'll just take a vote. Are we running away or are we actually going to try and kill this thing? You think you can outrun a dragon? Well, it knows we're here, so we should probably kill it. 
Okay. Should I pull out my... Well, we've been speaking nicely to it first. <laughs> Don't even so notice we'll the door. Um, can't the dragon speak draconic? I can speak draconic. Okay. Can you say that I'll pay for the door? Hello. Sorry. My friend says he'll pay for the door. <laughs> Awfully sorry. Are you, are you speaking that in draconic? Yep. Alright. You you sort of like see uh like the the head snaking round the doorway it's like and how does he propose to pay? Well I'll, I'll translate it back. Uh got gold. Dragons like gold, right? He'll I'll put my head round the corner and say either gold or sex. Thanks, man. I really appreciate you translating that for me. <laughs> if you have gold, then I will take it for my hoard. Cool. Cool. Just, just you know, I assume that you translate that. Yeah, I will. Can I just you know, probe, just ensuring that he means that we give him the gold and he doesn't talk? That's what he means. It's like a trade. Right? Yeah. Could you ask him? I'll relay everything. What, what are you relaying? They want to know where we get to live. But this dragon yeah. isn't just saying that. I mean, as soon as we turn our backs, he's going to scorch us. Still the rest of our god. Maybe me an insight check. Uh... Uh, Grimoth, seeing you're the only one that can understand him at the moment. And it's at plus six. Hell yeah. Rolls one. I mean, he will now. Seventeen. No, you're Roll pretty two sure ones. he's gonna kill you and take all your shit. Okay. <sighs> you sure you don't want to sex Salazar first, Green Dragon? My name. Is I had it a moment ago. There we go. Venom <laughs> Fang. <laughs> Such a tune. Come name. again. Oh, good. Venom Fang. Venom Fang. What was that poison to? Sorry, my translation's a bit off. <laughs> Fuck you, black man. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Salazar and go, "All right, go give him the gold." I'm not. <laughs> you just said he was lying. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Right, then yeah. I mean, whose turn is it? Are we doing uh, it in the show or not? Yeah, we'd, I mean... This is a cutscene. That's a good, fair point. Uh, no, yeah, you, you can choose to go up and give him the gold if you want. Then, then yeah, I'd... I'd... How, much gold here? Are you, how much gold are you, like, offering the dragon? Well, I'm currently in on... Give him five. Um, How much am I sitting on? 121 gold pieces. So I can drop him. What what numbers do you think dragons like? Five. Sevens. They're probably like seven. Like tree fitty. <laughs> Everyone, I don't have tree fitty. <laughs> oh my god. I have tree fitty silver pieces. <laughs> Give him seven. T. You're gonna, you're gonna drop seventy gold for him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. I assume I'll have a spare pouch around to yeah, get seventy yeah, pieces. Yeah. Chuck them in. Here I'll take, you know, might be sixty-eight. I'm a bit nervous, you see, and throw him his way. Oh, then shout, Salazar, he lied. Get him, boy. About here, be like, I hate you, <laughs> <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> All right. So yeah, upon hearing that, Jack, what do you do? Okay. I suppose I'll do a shatter then. Yes, sir. <laughs> good job, Sarah. That was a good idea. I didn't say with water. Huh? I just wanted a glass of ice. 
Oh, you can bring Daisy. <laughs> he just wants to throw it over his head, god damn it. <laughs> Plus, I'm assuming you're dehydrated in here anyway. Well, that's why I've got the coke. I wanted to put, pour the coke into the cold ice. So. Drake, okay. Dunk. <laughs> Do you want me to go and pour out the water and make the ice? No! I want to <laughs> the water. Sorry. It's alright, thank you very much. I'm gonna use shatter on him. So can I have a constitution save, please? You can't currently see him. Oh. Question, is the tower kinda... The tower is completely solid, it's the roof that's missing. Ah. Mm. So I can't, yeah, you know, like, crush the fucking building on top of him. I mean, you can attack the building if you want. But you won't be able to shatter the dragon directly. No, but shatter should technically destroy the building, right? It'll damage the building, whether it'll collapse is a different matter. Okay. Like stone. So I'll shatter the building then. Alright. Uh, roll some damage for the building. <laughs> Twelve. Is Shatter no. one of those spells that does double damage for a building? I'm not sure. It says that, um... Let's see. Uh, Constitution, a creature takes freedom of uh, a creature made of an unagate material such as stone, crystal, or metal has disadvantage on saving throws. Is it being worn, carried, or also takes damage if it's in the spell's area? Does not say about double damage? Alright. Cool. Uh, so yeah, disadvantage. You, you, like, um... You throw your magic at the at the tower itself, and like uh, hairline like cracks begin to appear all over the tower, but it has not collapsed. Well, there goes my last spell. <laughs> oh shit! Snarl and or Brook. Uh, can you please like delete Snarl because Brook is first. Mm. Thank you. Of course. Alright, Drew. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Alright, cool. So, Drew uh, runs forward, forward rolls into the room, and lets off two hand crossbow bolts. Tum, tum. Fifteen and a twenty-three. Nice. Uh, twenty-three hits. Yush. Or a d6. Uh, We're all gonna die. For four damage. But it's kind of like. Gittered off the scales, leaving like a tiny little score mark. Venom Fang looks down and then looks back at Droop, and you can just see Droop's ears just like slowly lowering. Does he say, You have gravely wounded me? No, he does not. <laughs> Tis but a flesh wound. It's more an insult than anything. Alright, Brook. Okay, I'm gonna have Brook move here, Snarl move to here. Alright, so he's gonna run into the tower. Yes. Cool. Um, and then they're both going to use bite on him. Alright, go for it. At advantage. Yeah, because you've got pack tactics. Uh, that will hit. For a delicious five. Uh, can I please have a DC 11 strength throw? Which will almost definitely fail. Sure, you can have a <laughs> DC 11 strength throw. On a dragon. Come on, crit one, crit one. Uh. Wow. Oh my god, he actually did it. Oh, I guess they just pulled his legs apart. So yeah, you just like, he's so surprised that you're like, Audacity to charge <laughs> in at him. He just completely gets uh, his leg swept out from under him. And he is now prone. Uh. Uh, this is for Snarl's attack. 
Oh shit, if only we had the number exact four same rod. Roles. Well, that's... Uh, roll 20 isn't showing any of the things for me. Have you rolled again? Yeah, I got it's, 20. You just rolled, it's the same thing. That's not come yeah. up. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, sorry. It's the same, it just looks the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that once again... Hit. Just like last time. <laughs> well done. You've taken a whole 10 points off of him. Good job. Yeah. Got more than 14 hit points, guys. Does he look bloodied? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he looks like absolutely fucked up. Parley. Tell him that we will spare him. <laughs> in exchange for it's sexual favours. <laughs> I'm checking to see if there's anything in the party treasury. Anything we can use as lubricant. I mean, potions of healing work great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, experience. we have a breastplate of dragon resistance. Yeah, who was wearing that again? Yeah, I'm pretty sure someone was wearing that. Uh, it was given to Just both Salazar and Grimos, and then... Let me check my... I gave it... Yeah, I'm pretty Ooh. sure Salazar got it because Grimoth already has an ability yeah. that does yeah. the same thing. Yeah, so I'm like, oh yeah, because it was the same rank as my old one, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So mm. yeah, I'm just resistant to dragons, full stop. <laughs> I wouldn't go that You know what? Way. I don't want sexual. You don't attract me at all. You're disgusting. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm going to go in. I'm guessing that would be classed as squeezing? No, nah, no, nah, you Awesome. Ugh. This is going to be an advantage, isn't it, since he's downed? He is downed. Oh. Oh, Fucking great. Very nice. For nine damage. Ouchie. The triple free. Son. Else? Uh, can you add? Well, make that ten. I mean, I can. I use my regular mace, not mace of <laughs> warning. All right. Cool. It's All right. Warning. Now, anything else? Um, can I make a second attack with that? No, I can't. It's not like I'm not dual wielding, and I can't hit him with my shield or anything. Fair. Cool. Not yet. All right, I'm done. All right. Venom Fang. Hey. Lumbrous gets up. Looks at all the squishies. So many squishies. All in a straight line. They all go hand in hand. Stood up. Me? No, I didn't. Didn't you? No. I just rolled seven for both. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Sorry. Right. Wait, I've been getting a lot of doubles. Stay, guys. You begin to hear a rumble deep in the dragon's <laughs> chest. And you can You've see this, this ever so slight bulbous um, bulge <laughs> traveling up the dragon's neck. And he opens his maw wide and just lets out this huge and toxic gas cloud. Oh. Can everyone that's not Jack make me a con save, please? Is it an area effect? Yes. Just essentially. Uh, Drew gets 12. He's so, so fortified and strong. Nine. Uh, this is oh, come off. Oh. Wait, he's not a chromatic, is he? Yeah, he is. Wait, he is. He's green. Oh, yeah. How does my dragon... Um, uh, you get advantage on the roll. I'm rolling Advantage again. on breath presence or on chromatic. Yes. Twenty-two. 
better. Oh, that's not Hollow. Good old strength of Banner Hut. Alright, so Grimoth is the only one that passed. Hmm. This is gonna hurt. Just warning you. Who thought fighting a dragon was a good uh, Those that failed take 39 oh. damage. Well. Group is on one. Which means it's six. Those that pass take half. 19 or 18? Round down. <laughs> Everyone I'm else is dead. I'm at one. Mm. What, as, as Brook or as, as Wolf? As, as Brook. Cool. I'm assuming Snarl is fucked. Yeah. Yeah, Snarl's gone. He's been Just yeah, bones right. at this point. <laughs> you you see he... like his, the flesh is starting to like, drop off his bones. Is he oh, finally God. dead? Yeah, he's like he's gone. He's not coming back. Uh, what did Salazar's armor do again? Uh, it gave him advantage, but he rolled shit. shit. Still, it wasn't very useful. Yeah. Okay, Salazar, what would you like to do? Um, I was going to say that is still an inspiration people could have used. You can't reroll a reroll. Yeah. But Brooke. Yeah, Brooke could have. Yeah. And but Brooke. Brooke. Well, I mean... I kind of forgot about it. Wasn't yeah. very inspired. Yeah. Droop, Droop doesn't think this is a good idea anymore. Okay. So the dragon stood up, I imagine. Yes. Well, I'll step on, on Brooke's. Wait, no. Isn't he still alive? Yeah, Brooke is yes. still alive. Oh he, god damn he is, it, bro. He's reverted from wolf form, however. But Snarl isn't. Yeah, Snarl's gone. So I just barge past Brook. Yes. Stand on this, on this puddle that used to be wolf. Um, Should I move him off there? No, no, it's fine, because Salazar is on top. And he's just a puddle now. Yeah. Um, are we level three or four? Four. We are level four. Good. Then I yeah, we'll use fainting attack. Okay. Wait, just to attack first. Uh, it's been so long, I don't remember. So yeah, neither do I. Oh my god, it's so hot. Uh, fighter. Um, use bo yeah, you use your bonus action first to do the faint. Uh, mm -hmm. You have advantage on your attack roll. Then let us do that. All right. And then you get your superiority damage uh, if you hit. If I hit. Yeah. So more, but I'm attacking at advantage. You are attacking at advantage. Yes. At. Using this mace that I picked up. Oh yeah, the the lightbringer. Yeah. You're now emitting light. Actually, no. I'll use the long sword. <laughs> Drop the mace. <laughs> All right. The sword does more damage. Will you? <laughs> uh, yeah. No, that's uh. Can I be inspired? Can't inspire advantage. Can't inspire. I'm afraid you are not that inspired. So yeah, you, you fell for you the faint. You bring your <laughs> longsword down to try and pierce the dragon's hide. It just clangs off. Didn't get the right angle. You hear just like a throaty chuckle coming from Venom Fang. Yeah, but I got him. I tricked him. I got... <laughs> Had him going the other way. Jack. Gonna turn up terrible. So I'll walk up to here. Mm -hmm. I'll do uh, an Eldritch Bolt. Okay. 22 hits. 22 does hit. For 8 points of damage. Very nice. Then I'll walk back out of the door. <laughs> Good decision. Uh, Droop is gonna take 2 shots. Boom. 
miss, and a hit. And now he gets his sneak attack. Is I think it's still one d six at the moment. No, two d six. Nice. Fifteen. He also steps out. It's like, nope, not having any of that. That was bad. That was a bad decision. Brooke. So, if I was to stand out, would I be at advantage due to Grandma's being opposite to me? Stand where? If I was to stand here, uh, he would not be opposite you. No. Okay. You would need to be there. Which is outside the tower. And yeah. And therefore wouldn't be able to... Uh... Him. I, I will use... Flame Blade. Ooh. Oh, so yes, this, this sword of pure fire erupts into your hand. And you scream uh, to the dragon. Yes. And it, once again, skitters off its scales. And I don't want to run away because attacks are an opportunity. I inspired you. Yeah, you Actually, can use the inspiration if you want. Yeah, inspiration. I mean, I don't want to say now or never, but... You hit. <laughs> inspiring stuff. It is indeed truly inspiring. Cool. Very nice. One, he's taking 59 points of damage. The dragon does indeed start to look a little injured. A little? He's on 59 freaking points What of is its AC, Daniel? It's Must AC. be like 18. It's 18. Yeah. Oh. Alright. A black globe starts glowing in my hand, and I go to touch the dragon. I would like to re-roll. <laughs> Fuck. You miss. You, you, uh, yeah, he managed, he, like, sees that this darkness is coming towards him, and he managed to sort of, like, skitter out of the way amazingly. Embrace the darkness! But the blackness is still in your hand. Uh, the dragon. The dragon at this point, uh, begins to flap his wings and takes off from the tower, which will provoke from all of you. Oh shit, okay. Would it cause the tower to collapse on him? No. Wait, uh, do we get advantage on to collapse on them? No, you wouldn't get advantage. So, I would miss. Yeah, so you, you try and touch it with, with your hand and miss. Salazar. Can I get inspiration on that? You can get inspiration on that, yes. Brook hits with a flame blade. Yes! That is also a hit. Hit something. Are you rolling damage? Yeah, I am. Oh, you should have shield bashed. Oh, it's a... I, I can only after a successful attack. Yeah. Or an attacking. Another nine. Very nice. So yeah, like the uh, the dragon leaps out of the tower, pauses for a moment in midair, inspects his wounds, and then just goes. This is not worth my life. And flies off into the distance. Yeah. He's right, it's not. You have managed to survive a young dragon attack. Oh. Young dragon. Uh, how about we take a long rest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the room like? Is it still a bit fumigated? Uh... Like the, the the gas is has started to uh, disperse at this point. There is, however, a melted dog and <laughs> an old chest. I open the chest. You die. No. Uh, Inside is eight hundred silver pieces. Ah uh, shit! I'm taking. Yes, you are. Yeah. Uh, yep. One hundred and fifty gold pieces. Yeah. 
four silver goblets set with moonstones that you think are worth 60 gold each. Right. A scroll of misty step. Yep. A scroll of lightning bolt. Yep. yep. And there is, at the bottom, underneath all the coins, a rusty old battle axe with dwarvish runes on the, uh, on the axe itself. Right. What does it mean? Can you read Dwarvish? I can. Look. It says Salazar is a cuck. No, actually. It says, it reads Hugh. Hugh. Sorry, it reads what? I'll type it for you. Oh, right, so, like, after you've whittled down some wood, you've, mm -hmm. you hew wood. Is it a keyword? Is it a keyword? Like the door. The sword come to life if you say hew. Oh, I see what you mean. Don't know. You have to say it in Dwarvish, though. So it's literally just a wood axe, like... <laughs> Well, it, 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 it looks like a battle axe, like you know, it's it's a two-headed battle axe. How's the blade? Uh, surprisingly sharp, considering the rust. Pick it up then. You start to feel uneasy. Someone check it for magic. <laughs> Can I do? I feel uneasy. <laughs> An arcana check. Uh, you can. I think doesn't Brooke have detect magic? Yeah, he does. Yeah. As a ritual. You could do that while we're having a break, yeah, can't we? Uh, Brooke can tell you that this is indeed a magical weapon. Cool, but why do I feel so gosh darn easy? He says uh, that while it is a plus one weapon, it also deals maximum damage whenever you hit a plant creature or an object made of wood. Use it while we're I'd, here. I'd like that then. <laughs> it's literally a wood axe. Arsenal of magical weapon. <laughs> what, what, what's it called? It's called Hugh. It's his name. I'm going to call it the logger. Alright, you can call it the logger if you wish. I've renamed, can I etch the logger into this? You, you can probably find someone that will etch the logger into it. It, it loses do it its magic. Oh, God, dagger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Scratch out you and it doesn't work anymore. It's a plus one weapon, isn't it? It is a plus one weapon. Is it one handed or two handed battle axe? Uh, it is uh, versatile. Ah, so one handed. <laughs> you can. And what's his damage one. on one hand? Uh, a D8. Plus okay. one. It's a plus one weapon. Yeah. So you're going to have that in one hand and your mace in the other? Uh, basically. I don't know if I can. Yeah. I mean, if you took the, the dual wheel defeat, you could have your yeah. longsword yeah, in one it. hand and your backlax in the other. No, I, I took the shield bash and I said, so I'm going to abuse that bad boy. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good feat. I will keep the axe on a hilt to my right hand side, sword on the left, and the mace can go away. Alright. Alright. So you guys want to go rest up somewhere, take a long rest? Probably yeah. in 31. Yes. No, in 3. It's 31. There's not that many buildings. In 3. <laughs> Alright. So yeah. you, you all hustle over to free. Is anyone keeping a watch? Uh, we don't need to. Oh, yeah, because you've got your. Hammer. Mace. Your, mace. Yeah, yeah, your mace. Can I erect us? Can we bury the what's left of the dog, or is it just. You can bury it if you want. I yeah. take the saddle off of it. That's gone. Uh, the saddle's melted. also melted. Can it's we bury, it, bury him right here? I, I bury him and uh, light a fire to come. To commemorate his life, <laughs> do you create a bonfire on his body? Uh, yes, to send yes. him off. Yeah, finish, send him off. 
We could burn him. Snarl is officially gone. All right, you, you Snarl. hear howl throughout the woods as, <laughs> as his, the, the remnants of his remains ignite. He will now never be coming. You would think that a water druid would uh, pour them or put them down the river, but no. He Flush them down the lake. Or at least pull one out for his homie, but no. A Viking burial. Well, we've done a Viking burial. Set them on fire instead. <laughs> a fire fit for a king. Is that what that D4 was for? How good the fire was? No, no. <laughs> Three out of four. Pretty so, good fire. You all start... Um... Oh god. Fucking golly. Uh, you all bed down for the night, uh, trusting in uh, Grimoss's mace to warn you. Probably would have still barricaded the doors, though. That's a good choice. And deep in the night, you get that warning. As the doors bust down, and hmm. you see these stood before you. Oh, great dragon worshippers! You wouldn't know that. I'll go to get a darn beer and look what happens. God. Sorry, but you have not had the benefits of a long rest yet. So you're Damn solicitors! Off. Will we get short rest though? Uh, no, you, you can't take one and then the other. No, okay. You can take one and then the other, but you would have had to have specified. Okay. You don't get, like, if you're an hour into your long rest, you've not benefited from a short rest. Uh, we have partially rested. Doesn't count though. But did we actually get to sleep? No, not, you've not had a. So long as this fight doesn't take more than an hour. You will then have the full benefits of a long rest. Okay. I mean, we're in a fight and we're pretty much. Well, yeah. Well, you should have, you know, maybe healed up a little bit before you went to bed. Lessons will be learned. Blood. <laughs> All right. Would everyone like to roll an initiative? I mean, honestly, no, I wouldn't. But I mean, here we you are. Can sit the fight out if you really want. <laughs> yeah, the party will love you for that. Don't don't count me in, lads. Just <laughs> say to the other team as well. I'm not playing tonight. <laughs> Leave me out. <laughs> I'll offer Salazar's body to them. Mm. Mm. All right. So yeah, as as these cultists kick down your doors, uh, they they shout, "You killed Venom Fang. We must destroy you." We didn't kill him. He ran off. Hey, he's just popped out for some cigs. He'll be back in a bit. You drove him away. Now you must die. No, he's on a quest for us. Jack, what would you like to do? <laughs> Could I shoot um, this one in the face? You can. 20? Oh, yeah. Or 10. Uh, this is an average bolt, yeah? Yep. Uh, doesn't your Eldritch Bolt, like, push things back? No, not yet. Oh, come on. Come on, work with me! <laughs> wait, what, what, no, wait, let me check. I might I'm have it right down somewhere. Don't uh, worry, I've got a spell that does that. No, I've still only got two. It's my next one that I'll pick up, get it. That's fine. Yeah, his, his head, like, snaps back. And he collapses. And let that be a lesson to a lot of you. <laughs> I need to finish reading up on this spell. Um, what spell is it? Thunder Wave. Ooh. The first time that I've ever used it. Um, okay. So each person in a fifteen. Go away, gay faggot. Each person in a fifteen foot uh, radius around me, right? Uh, no, uh, uh, 15 foot cube, uh, originating from you. Oh, okay. So, 
Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that would catch a lot of people. Oh, that's it. So you can get these two on the right if you'd like. Yeah. Alright. Also, tell your brother I'm going to kill him. Uh, don't worry. I want to as well. Uh, they need to make a uh, con save, yeah? Yes. Alright, they will attempt to. Uh, top one, bottom one. Uh, uh, the DC is 14. So. Right, so the top one just makes it. Okay. Yeah. So 13, so one's dead and the other one yeah, this, is... This one just goes flying back into the trees. Uh, 12, 6. This one, like, he's, he, like, braces himself just in time. He gets pushed back a couple of inches. Uh, you can see him, like, cough up a little bit of blood, but he's still standing. This just one we really have wee, one wee, wee, wee. home. Yeah, you do have one health. So run back into the building. You can run back into the building if you'd like. Alright, Grimace. Right. Close the door. Very tempting. Just to go, sorry, we're not here. We're not in. No cultists today. No soliciting. Uh, I don't have any group heals. That doesn't take time. Got potion. Till the front row. Whoever's in the doorway is going to get hit, so... Well. However... I could attack a new ceiling word, can't I? Mm -hmm. You could yeah. use healing word, yes. And then hit someone. Uh, right. Healing word on the droop. So a d4 plus 4, isn't it? Uh, uh, d4 plus your uh, modifier, yeah. 7. Uh, aren't you a life cleric? Um, protection. Okay, cool. I'm then going to step forwards and proceed to twat him. Go for it. Was that on... Who was that? Who was the healing for? Sorry, I was... Droop. 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 Cool. I've lost them once. I don't want to lose them again. So, 14 versus AC. Uh, 14 will hit. And then it's a D6. Plus 4. 4, 8. Crack him a cold one. Uh, but he is still standing with the boys. Ah. What nas? Can the DM die? Or is... <laughs> <laughs> the D well, I mean, yes, I can die, but I intend to be around for quite a while. I shout, Sally, do you mind taking my place? Alright, Droop leaps out, aims for the injured one with his first crossbow bolt oh, and misses and like uh, and then aims for him again with his second crossbow bolt and cracks him and puts him down Lay does a barrel roll back into the building uh yeah he's like uh <laughs> nope okay This one runs into the building. Uh, I need to go for Salazar. Of course he is. He has plus three to his attacks. Uh, and completely wins. It's advantaged. It's fine, he rolled a one. Into the shield. But I mean, he, he like went overhead and probably just caught it on a light fixture or something. 
<laughs> just hanging Dropped there. It. And then the <laughs> two will go for Grimmel. Uh, a five out of five. Yeah, oh my god. See the good cultists, guys. <laughs> These guys suck. <laughs> They're all just uh, book nerds. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, how did that dude hit me then? Oh, the guy in the building. The right. So I attack the dude in front of me. All right. With my sword, don't want to crack out the logger for these scrubs. But they might be made of wood. Uh, that hits, yeah. They might be. Can anyone confirm? They are not. Does he have wood? Confirmed. He, he also does not have wood. Oh. Nice roll. That's a splendid roll. This is not get jammed the light. He is still standing. But he's not happy. Alright, can I... He's having, you know, bits cut out of him. Shove him then. Alright. Uh... I forget how this works. It's been a while. Can I hit him prone? Uh, yeah, it's a opposed... Uh, it's you make an athletics check. Against their acrobatics? Yeah, or athletics, their choice. Uh, well, he rolled a 5, so... Yeah. I rolled a 23. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, you just clothesline him, and he's <laughs> prone. Didn't even use a shield, just literally used the forearm. Just... <laughs> Clunk. Jack. Okay, I guess I'll kill that dude. That's. He's gonna pull out your shanker dagger. Yeah, just pull out my shanker. And then, um, it's a bad shit. <laughs> Alright, well, obviously, you, you've got the advantage. Right. Seven. Wow, what did you roll? I don't a know. Four and a five. Yeah, e even then. He, you miss. You like go to, to like just slice his throat, and he manages to kick just enough so that you just slice it like his breastplate instead. I can't use a bonus attack with a dagger, could I? Only if you've got a second dagger in your hand. I just wish it was a bit more like a five finger fillet that uh, Jack just did with that dude. All right, Brooke. I'm going to tell Grimos to kill that guy because I've got a plan to kill those two. At the top, uh, and I'm going to wait until after Grandma's and Droop's turn, right, just so in case. You, you're gonna wait until after everyone else. Yes. Uh, all right, Grandma. You want me to do a thing? Yes. Gotta do the thing. All right, I'm gonna do that thing on that guy. Don't get killed. All right. Eighteen. That, that is a hit. Can you deal and they end up dying to, instead. To mush his brains. For yes. ten damage. You just bring bring your mace down on his head and there's just goop all over the floor. Awesome. Um let me see. I'm going to Yeah, healing word is for bonus, isn't it? So yes. I'm going to healing word. Where are you getting all the spell slots? I had some left over. On the back of the bins. Nice. So, okay, cool. Yeah, give give Brooke a little a little a little something something. So you get seven back as well, and that is all my first level spell slots gone. Nice. Alright. Droop is going to shoot the guy that Grimoss is engaged with. Uh, and a try again. Oh god. Seven. Yeah, Droop's, Droop's doing great. Uh, Droop's oh my god, that was three sevens in a row. And gets he nine. shook. Yeah. Tell Droop. shook. Okay, uh, I'm going to run around to here. Yeah. If I ice knife that guy, does Grimace get hurt? Is he what, that guy? Ice knife. Mm. Because there's a wall there. Yeah. But then there's a door here. Uh, he so, would have advantage on a save. Okay, I take that, and then I do it with a second level uh, spell slot. Nice. 
Alright, so hit the dude. I'm looking at the roll. That is enough. So he takes. Okay. Man. And can the three of them make dexterity checks? Yes. Uh, don't forget, Grimoth, you get yours at advantage. Yeah. So yeah, the, the ice knife just, like, stabs into his chest. And he reels back, and then it just, like, detonates. Uh, they need to make dex checks, yeah? Yes. Uh, one on the left. Really fails. One on the right. Also fails. Grimoth? 17. Okay, you then take damage. They both dead. Both of them drop dead. Well done. Don't go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, you will just kick the dead bodies out of the roof and nestle back down. No, we're going to use them as door blocks. Yeah, <laughs> use them as door stops. <laughs> and loot them while we're at it. Uh, you find on them... Not a lot. Uh, actually, you find three diamonds on one of them. Each worth a hundred gold. And a potion of flying. Right. Um, can we also take their cultist gear? Just disguise um, it. Yeah, you can if you want. Apart from the fact they're blood covered and or yeah, they are they are blood covered and you know tattered. Apart. Brand, you have mending. Uh, no, but two of them, or at least one of them, died by thunderclap. So. Yeah, he he'll be uh, completely fine, but you know the we other that. five, not so much. Well, one did die by force damage to the head, wasn't it? Yeah. If, okay, if so you, you one one's two. mask is completely fucked, but his clothes are fine, and one is just, completely fine. Just take rest... all of the clothes because soon he'll learn mending. All right, cool. You you steal all their gear. Yeah. Well, it is. It's 27 degrees right now, and it's ridiculous. Still? Yeah, still. Oh, British summertime. I hate it. It's horrible. Shall I? No. I can deal with that. Winter place, I would like to freeze. I want to wear my big poofy coat. I, I prefer just, autumn. And I still be cold. <laughs> in a room. I want to be inside all the time, please. Yes, this is this is optimal state of being. Uh, Efficient. <laughs> the, the rest of the night passes uneventfully. You all heal back up to full and get your spell slots back. Actually, Brooke does have mending. All right, so yeah, you can also fix the tears in the clothing. He does. You now so. have some, admittedly, still bloody, but fixed. Uh, Cult of the Dragon gear. I like Dragon. All right. Tell you where we go then. So, um, I'm going to cast Dragon? aid again. On myself, uh, Salazar, and I believe it was Droop. I believe we got to here before stopping last time, so should we yes. head down or up? It still ends up going around in a circle anyway. Where was that? Well, at yeah, the split off. This is where you stopped last time. Oh, uh, yeah, and then we went up to go get the crap kicked out left by a dragon. Yeah. A dragon. I think so we, we should... You want to go this way? Up here? No, because if we go... I think we need to go down 
because we can get that house and then that house and then all the other houses and we end up back and we can then do the two on the right, one on the left and one on the right and then on the top. So a maximum. That way we don't have to double over ourselves. Are we min-maxing this to the best? We are. Alright, down the bottom we go. Oh, oh which was a power bomb. Yes, dear? No. <laughs> Go meet shield. Away. Alright, so where are you going first? You hit this room? Uh, in this desolate cottage, which doesn't look too beaten up, actually. Alright, number eight. Sell it to me. Uh, it's a smithy. Uh, a wide chimney and rotting piles of firewood jumbled outside of the walls of this sagging building suggest it was a smithy in its day. Cool. So, let's crack it open and see what we can find. Okay, I'll stop myself here so I can shoot inside if I need to. Alright, you open the door. With everyone in position, of course. You then get on the floor. And everybody did the dinosaur? You no, you have no seizure. Uh, ash zombies sat on the floor. Wow. Couldn't I ask think... for more. Ah, shit. Can I see anything else in there? Guys, that didn't rhyme. We're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you see a variety of like old uh, smithing tools like tongs, bellows, hammers, and a couple of pair of uh, iron anvils. What about a saw? Uh, there are no saws. Okay. Would everyone like to roll initiative as they are beginning to try and get up? I have only fire spells. That's okay, I just a lot of fire under them. It's always worked in the past. Ash, renowned for it. Oh shit, my initiative should be plus one. Oh. You dumb fuck. Wow, you they run dumb boy. Well, well, bad, yeah. Alright, go and some, some, some agile ashen creatures. They are some uh, agile zombies. Right. Uh, let's. Sacred Flame. That right. dude. What is the right? He's prone to have. Oh, see me. He has disadvantage. Uh, can uh, it make me... Zero. Whew! 1d8 radiant damage. Two. Two damage. Two whole damage. What element does Ash even fall under? Ash. Ash. But they Ash were once... The earth element. Were they once wood? Uh, Salazar, can you make me a constitution saving throw, please? Bollocks. <laughs> As this uh, zombie, having taken some damage, uh, lets out a big Ash cloud. Art. Small fart. And you're trying not to breathe it in. Yes, it is. You managed to not breathe it in. Yeah, I, I sleep next to Grim. Yeah, exactly. You, you're used to <laughs> smells. Alright, what would you like to do? Well, I'm going to go in there and hit him with the logger. You're going to use the logger? Okay. I'm going to log some valuable data. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> For justice. Um. And it is. Are you hitting the one on the left or the one on the right? The one directly in front of me, the one to the right. Okay. That will hit. Wow. Okay. That's not so agile after all. Looking for eights. <laughs> I found one. The logger. Alright, he takes. Six points of log damage. Twelve points 
of axing damage. He is still standing, although I'd like to shove him. Little little bits and pieces. After he's still prone. Oh, you're oh. rolling that advantage, which you did. Never mind. Well, I didn't, but I, you, you rolled I, a second time. Didn't need. No, no, that was that was your con. Roll again, just in case you crit. Okay, if it's crit, you're you're a godsend. I hate you. Alright, cool. Okay, uh, so what can I do with my bonus action? Uh, do you have anything else that you can do with your bonus action? Not particularly. I could do second wind or action surge, but that's not useful at this point. Or shield bash him into the wall. That might do damage. Try to just shield bash him when he's down, like, you know, give him the people's elbow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just spring off the cat, the anvil, and just like elbow. No. Just like literally, just jump on him. <laughs> could you stamp on him? Let's do that. Uh, sure. Yeah, you could. You could stamp on him. Yeah. yeah. What do I roll for that? Make me an attack roll at advantage. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what bonuses do I get? Do I get uh, athletics? You get your strength bonus. Hell yeah. <laughs> But you're not proficient in stomping, so you... I, yeah. I think you'll find I am. Um. <laughs> you deal uh, a d4 plus your strength modifier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm doing this more often. Bad crit. Close enough. Alright, yeah, you, you stomp the ash a little bit. <laughs> now it's the ash's turn. The ash both stand up. And begin to slam their ashen fists into your ash. Uh, 16? Into the shield. And a 9. Into my face, which doesn't, counts the shield at this point. Doesn't, doesn't even get to the shield. Into the jaw of steel. Alright, Drew. Uh, he's gonna come down to here so that you he can see very well. He's gonna shoot the. Uh, The injured one. Yep. Yep. Alright, so this would be because of the thing. Uh, 3d6 plus 3. For 10 damage. Alright, so it needs to make uh, a con save. So it's 5. So it needs DC 15. It collapses. Puff. Into a pile of ash. And then using. His, yeah, no, he. Like, he puts the, his second arrow into the, the dust just to make sure it stays down. Bounces. Jack. Um. I guess I'll, I can walk up to here and then I can get a shot off from Eldritch Bolt. You can. 19. That hits. A 5. Salazar, can you make me a con check, please? Oh my lord. Um, As this one also farts. <laughs> Could you, would I not have learned from the last time? No. <laughs> Don't <laughs> breathe. Okay. You're fine. Anything else, Jack? Uh, mm, I think I'll move out of the way for Brook. Alright, Brook. I can do what I need to do. Because I'm pretty sure that... Ash and fire don't do, don't go too well. I run in and stab this guy with my trident. It's much better. Which does that have a water aspect, which could help in any way? No. Or form? No. It's just it, talking it is a to trident the fish. Of talk to fish. I mean, you could add lion time into soap. <laughs> it's useful. It is trident of fish talk. I mean, you could smell droop. Do as. <laughs> That is enough to talk to his fish body. Turns out he's part fish. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a merman in my past life. Like, <laughs> all the time fishing. Yeah, you, you like thrust your, your trident into his body and then pull it out and like the holes just slowly seal back up. With fish. <laughs> just fish heads poke out. And it explodes into fish. 
right. suddenly there are fish everywhere. The whole <laughs> the whole shack is filled with fish. <laughs> you suffocate in fish. Turns out they went. Brooke dies happy because that is his fetish. <laughs> <laughs> he just shows pants on zip as it starts flooding oh. the room. <laughs> Daniel. Right. Daniel. Sacred flame. Daniel. Alright, cool. He's not a disadvantage anymore. He has stood up. He's still at minus two though because he's a zombie. Yep. Right. That spelled so a D8 again. I mean, we do need to replace For the dog. Fifth. Do you need to replace what? The dog. You, you're going to try and tame a zombie. <laughs> no, I mean, we've all watched Shaun of the Dead. Just stick a chain on them and put them in the shed. They'll be fine. And <laughs> play on the PS2 with them. Yeah. The zombie is still standing. Quick, someone make a leash. My turn. I'll make a leash. <laughs> yeah, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Oh, I'm just gonna. Just gonna log him. I log some variable data. I, that joke wasn't funny the first time. You know what they say about good jokes? You have to repeat them until. No, everyone knows you have to explain the joke, and then it's funny. Incidentally, that hits. One does not simply evade the log. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. It's it's not a question of him trying to evade it. It's a question of he's not he doesn't understand Existing. the concept of pain. He doesn't exist anymore. Well, that remains to be seen. He was my log. Uh, Fuck. He just makes it. He's still standing. God damn it. Uh, Is he you prone? Like your, yeah, your bonus action to prone him. Can I just punch him? Uh, not really, no. Can I just hit him with like, my shield, like properly hit him with the shield instead of like shield bashing him, just punch him? Or headbutt him? Anything. <laughs> I want you down this prick. <laughs> yeah, I, honestly, God, I just want him dead. How dare he stand against the logger and survive? <laughs> he has well, offended the God. You hit the other one is because you were stamping on him because he was prone. This one is oh, right. Can I drop kick him? Because that'll leave me can't prone. Can't drop kick him. You <laughs> um, D. Come on, like a bonus action. Just, just headbutt. No. No. What about throwing my sword at him? <laughs> That's an attack. What if I just kick him in the shin? I mean, you you can use your 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 attack thing. My action surge, yeah, yeah, but I don't want to. Well, then shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, I spit on him. He'll become more cohesive. Yeah, but it might do damage. Alright, so you will take it. <laughs> it's a zombie's turn. <laughs> and he's gonna slam on you again, and probably miss. Oh! God damn it. <laughs> Can I use my shield of faithful? Sure. Faithfully shield me. 13. Just at the last second, Grimoth's shield gets in the way. And just as always. Just a little bit numb from the strength of this uh, slam. Yeah, it didn't like when I spat on him. I got you, buddy. Sorry, I accidentally you. spat on the back of your hand, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a bit extra in my mouth. Drew takes a shot. Uh, plus three. Uh, Fifteen, so he would need to roll up. Uh... 20 or more. Oh my god. He's it's... still standing. <laughs> so Drew takes a second it... shot. Please Did tame you it. put your sneak damage on? Yes. That's yeah. That's why it's 3d6. Why you just strong. Uh, for four, so... Uh, DC is nine. Yep. He just rolled a nine. Like... <laughs> Zombies just like full of arrows, like completely fine. Got spit on his face. He's a big disgrace. He's he's kicked the shit out of us all over the place. Singing, uh... <laughs> fuck you. Right, Jack. Um. Okay. Um, would he be able to go around the back and get to the door and open it and kick him in? Yes. 
Okay, I'll go around the back, open the door, and then just shank him. It's the shanky dagger. <laughs> yeah, I shank. <laughs> I miss. You managed to miss the zombie. I will. I will. I will re-roll that. You got to use your three. inspiration. Yeah, really? on a zombie. On yeah, I'm. Zombie. Yeah, I don't know wanna... you. The zombie's pissing us off, like. <laughs> Fourteen. You managed to hit the unmoving zombie. Okay. Even though you're there. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Not what I wanted, damn it. Okay. It's d4 plus 2, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, 5 points. Alright, so that's a DC of 10. Nope! Zombie's completely fine. You just shank him a little bit and. Zombie doesn't even notice that you've done it. Oh my god, I hate this zombie. Brooke! Kill it. I'm trying. I stab it again. Okay. Everyone just starts wailing on this poor zombie. <laughs> Is he literally the immortal zombie? Just, just like. I mean, if he keeps making his saves, yeah. We eventually should give up, close the doors, and walk away. Alright, DC is 14. Oh, I, I don't want to put that into Twitch chat. Zombie is still fine. Holy shit. Saga <laughs> continues. <laughs> like he's just he's losing limbs left, right, and center, but he's still fighting on. He's more holes than Ash at this point. Grimoss. Um. Sacred Flame again. You could always just step up to him because now there's one dead. You can just like flank him with me. But he makes the puffs. And? No, he doesn't. He's already done that. Yeah. Fine. I'll flink him. Alright. Smack him one. 20. Oh, yeah. Deal the damages. 5. DC 10. No. He did it. I mean, at least these aren't, you know, attack rolls against you guys. These are yeah. the best rolls you've had in These, I, oh, I am... Ridiculous. Let's have a look at what you've rolled. Let's have, let's 19, have a look. 18, 19, uh, 17, 17, 18, 20, 17, Jesus Christ. What's my highest roll of the night so far? <laughs> uh, have you broken double digits yet? Eight. I think I've rolled an eight. Good point. Oh, that I was quite a good one. Or was that? Um, yeah, that, uh, I got fourteen there. Ooh, sexy. Um, that's about yeah, it. Salazar. Oh, no, I've got seventeen. Okay. So at this point, I'm not gonna lie. I'm quite impressed. <laughs> um. Uh, I'm gonna drop the act because yeah, you know yeah. he's made it personal. And I'm just gonna like uppercut. With with a severe amount of hatred behind it. You're you're going to punch it. I'm going to punch him. And he's gonna explode. All okay. Right. Go ahead. What am I rolling? It'd be a D twenty plus your strength modifier because you're not proficient in punching. I'm you don't pretty proficient. I've used my hands most of my life. Yes, but you don't have formal training in punching. Soldier, <clears throat> got training with Marshall. That, yeah, that's not... And basic. Not, that's not that either. You hit it. Yeah. 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 What right, am I rolling? On the D4 plus 3. What, can I wear metal gauntlets? Does that do more damage? No. no. <laughs> Is that with the strength modifier as well? Yes. Yeah. Why I said plus three. Yeah, right. So, uh, that was a crit. That was. 13. Um, Have we spent like ten minutes on this guy? Oh come on! You right. Do, you do get that the idea is to deal as much damage as possible to make the DC high. I mean, high. yeah, that's one of the best damages I've done all night. Like. <laughs> uh, how many more buildings are left? Uh, two. 
of interest. Are you sure I can't headbutt him? Yes. <laughs> Fine. Yeah! He tries to hit you. Is it plus three for his friend? Yeah. Uh, an 18. No. An 18 misses you? I'm on 19 now. Holy shit, damn. Now this one zombie is like, nope, not doing it. Oh shit, I lie, I'm on 20. Alright. Hits. I want to be the one who kills him. <laughs> 19 is the DC. Oh my god! god. <laughs> Wow! It looks like I still have a shot. Um, <laughs> Droop takes his second shot. How much of the zombies left? Uh, like, you're not even sure how the thing is still standing. Like, it's it's reforming itself, like constantly. I'm gonna become, gonna become an end game boss at this. <laughs> yeah, the zombie is still standing. He uh, still this is worse than Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, and I've been. Fucking fight, fighting the pursuer boss for like who knows God knows what. Jack. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Oh, never mind. Just do another dex attack. Just try nine. You are at advantage now. Oh yeah. Does nine hit or should I roll again? No, nine is a hit, but you might crit. You never know. No. No. Four. Uh, so DC's nine. Nope. Oh my god, what the fuck? Is there a bug? Are you sure he's not made out of concrete? <laughs> this zombie is ridiculous! <laughs> Undead fortitude, you need to, like, there should have been, like, a hot, like, a cap at how many times you don't die. I think five should have been the limit. Now we're, what, at nine? Or is it eight? At least 15 minutes, no. <laughs> We want story. We need to get on to the next fucking campaign. Oh, oh. I did the very itself. last line of the text. Please. Unless the damage is radiant or from a critical hit. So that's... I created him. I created him with a punch. No, that's that was a ghetto. That's not a crit. Please let me. So you're saying? Radiant the shit out of him. <laughs> Wait, yes. didn't, wasn't your first hit against him radiant damage? That didn't kill yeah. him though. It has to be the last hit, it has, it has to be, be radiant. The last hit. But, seeing as, you know, he's at a minus two, Grimoss just radiant flames him and finishes him off. Hey, deep breaths. He explode. Fucking hell. That was I was about to say, can I heal him to death? <laughs> Uh, in previous editions, yes. Uh. Now loot the place. There's nothing here. Not like a hidden fucking nope. overlord tile again? Two oh, fucking shit. zombies. That's... Okay, fuck it. Then let's run along to the next one. Fuck this shit. I mean, <laughs> I, I can tell you right now, there's nothing of interest left. Okay. Check the next one. Except there's, them sweet XPs. There's some twig blight. And some more zombies. That's it. Sounds like fun. Well, let's just find the damn apothecary ap and get the fuck out then. Didn't you already find that? No, we never found it. We looked for it, but we never found one that had a sign for the apothecary. Oh, it was the herbalist shop. Oh, the uh, herbalist shop. Here, right here. Oh. Okay. We Go never there. went you in that one. The herbalist shop. Okay. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. Okay, so this go away. This shop is cluttered with sagging storage shelves and broken furniture. Shards of glass and pieces of pottery glint in the weeds and rubble next to rotted books and casks. Okay, I look for the the hidden board behind one of the shelves. You do indeed find the hidden board, and there is a small case with a gold necklace with a fine emerald pendant, which is worth 200 gold. So we leaving now? Yeah, you leave. Yeah, let's, let's walk out. Alright, you head back. Give me that. Like, 
We fought a dragon. We fought some thingies. Now we have a 200 gold necklace. And a really nice axe. To Fandolin. Over there. To to recoup the knight and discuss your next options. Do um, you recall that you found that book in Wayback Cave that talked about uh, a town called Greenest, which had um, words that I've forgotten. We actually read the book. Yeah, you read the book. Okay. Like you, you took a quick glance, and it, it talked about there was a um, ancient uh, cult of the dragon shrine there that was had artifacts uh, that are able to resurrect dragons. Mm. And you have just had a run-in with the cult of the dragon. I would like to wash. The blood out, yes. The blood out. Alright, you have a bath? Oh, I see what you mean. You mean the cultist robes. Yeah, you wash the, the blood out of the cultist robes. Should we get them tailored? Yeah, you can have them with adjusted <laughs> so that they fit. Okay. To droop size. <laughs> Maybe we should just hide I mean, them mostly back. they just, you know, they cut half the, uh, half the robe off. Yeah. Another cape is required for the young goblin. Alright, so would you like to begin your journey to Greenest? Yes. Are we all healed up? You are indeed all healed up. Anything to do in town? Uh, nothing other than rest. We have got all the quests, haven't we? You have got all the quests. Then, away we go. Wherever I put it. Alright. Alright, so travelling uh, for a, a couple weeks. Actually, yeah, it is a couple of weeks to get, to get all the way down to Greenest. Travelling the length of the Sword Coast, passing through Neverwinter and Waterdeep and even Baldur's Gate, you reach the small town of Greenest late in the evening. Sounds good. Sundown is approaching when you top a rise and see the town of Greenest just a few short miles away, but instead of the pleasant welcoming town you expected, you see columns of black smoke. And Shit, having a barbecue without us. Running figures that are little more than dots at this distance and a dark winged shape wheeling low over the keep that rises above the centre of the town. Greenest is being attacked by a dragon. Sorry, did you say Riverdale? I said Greenest. Sorry, did you say What sort of dragon? It's very dark, but you think it is blue. Purple. Blue. Brilliant. Lightning. Green? Grey. <laughs> oh, behind. It's a grey dragon on a grey back. It's three greys and a grey dragon. Ha ha ha. Yes, it's I still funny suck. because of that joke that we all used to say. Yeah. For that game we don't play anymore. I still play it. I still suck at it. I'm flat. I'm, I'm, I'm silver. Wow. I never got out of silver. What a hat? Good lord. Squad. Really good at arms, though. <laughs> anyway, I think Probably. that is where we shall call it for this evening. <laughs> Justified. Because we're about to delve into a whole new world. Yeah. Okie dokie everyone, thank you for watching, uh, thank you for listening, thank you for fapping alongside, thank you for just, just being you guys, thank you. You're very welcome. We love you. I love me too. Yeah, fuck you Toby. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit late for that. <laughs> sorry, was I, uh, sorry, I'll do it again. Uh, yeah, we're about to do the whole thing again guys, reset. <laughs> 
Alright. Uh, there we'll we go. Be back next week. Same time, same place. Uh, until then, don't forget, everyone hates pods. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>